So this is an update reading on um, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. So basically what is going on here, this is sort of a general over uh, reading of their, of them like in general, uh, what's going on in the relationship currently. What I see here is Obviously the split, um, there's judgment here, so that is indicating um, r request for divorce. The request for divorce is mainly on uh, Miley's side uh, because of neglect. So there's, uh, the reasoning behind it is because like Liam um, has, basically gone MIA on her, gone silent, um, not speaking to her, um, not reaching out to her, uh, being very, very uh, secluded, uh, secretive. There's also um, a lot of defensiveness here. Uh, I also feel like the well, it's on both of their sides. It's both of them. Um, basically, what I got is that there's already been some sort of threat or um, message about money. So there's something, uh, uh, what I believe, is that uh, Liam is has already brought up the money situation. Wanting money, so could be wanting alimony or could be wanting, um, you know, half of her assets, uh, whatever that is. And so there's an extreme um, defensiveness going on for, from her. Um, there's also defensiveness from him and that's more about uh, protecting his uh, reputation and protecting his um, um, like his true intentions. So this whole situation has always been his goal. And I know this is hard to believe, but it's true. His goal was to create this situation. Um, it was his wish because he wanted, uh, from what I got from the cards, he wanted a green card and he wanted her money. And like I said, I know it's hard to believe, but um, it happens, you know, like he's from a different country. He Yes, he's like done okay in films. Um, I would say probably his brother is more popular than he is. Um, I don't know. I, I really just, I really get the feeling that he saw Miley. He saw her taking off as a, as a superstar and wanted to hitch a ride on her fame ride and wanted to take that money and run um, and it's evidenced by how he convinced her to marry him uh, but then went totally MIA like uh, went totally silent on her um, so this is the overview what I what I did then was I asked like what are her thoughts and feelings about what's happening and then what's his on her side, it's so heartbreaking. Basically, what I see here is that um, she definitely was madly in love with him, uh, definitely th thought he was her soulmate, wanted desperately to make it work, um, wanted to marry him, uh, probably asked to go to therapy or something um, like wanting to work on the on the relationship 
wanting to try to get this happy home um, in place and and make it work and try try to get like balance in the relationship um, but she was always left feeling this emptiness this sadness this feeling of loss because he's too cold the, he's just this stoic person who doesn't show any emotions the reason why he doesn't show emotions to her is because he doesn't love her he's only in it for the things that he's in it for so he, she's never gonna get that from him now what also I, what I got from these cards was she believes that he like is choosing partying over her uh like partying with his friends that's what this card is indicating here but in actual i mean yes he is in a, in a sense like but in actuality like that's just what he wants to do like more than hang out with her so because he's not really interested in her so it, it's like what else is he gonna do but go hang out with his friends so that's like in a sense like yes he is choosing that over her but it's not like in a sense that he's like oh yeah i i really love you but i'm i'm also gonna choose my friends no it's like i'm not that into you so i'm just gonna go like surf with my friends and do whatever the hell i want and not worry about you so She's a little bit in the dark about his true intentions um, in that regard, which, you know, makes a lot of sense, like, with the song she just put out. Also, what I got was that there's part of her that, I mean, she's grieving. She really, really loved him and, like, feels such a loss with this um, breakup, but there's a weird uh, a weird feeling I got from these cards, especially this one, is that even though she's mourning the breakup, there's like a need, a, a, a deep need, a deep desire to restore balance back into her life. Um, and what I kept getting was that I think that she wanted, like, herself back. Like, the feeling of, I want to be myself again. And what's really interesting, the feeling I got, I think that she definitely believes that he chooses, like, drink, going drinking with his friends and stuff, like, over her. But that line in the song where it says, um... I wanted my house in the hills, not the whiskey and the pills. When I saw this card, I got the feeling that that line, the, the pills, I feel like part of the um, conditions of him like being with her was that maybe she had to go on some sort of like uh, medication, you know, maybe to treat, like, her erratic behavior or something, and, like, so she didn't want him to go party, but she also didn't want to be, like, medicated, because, like, also, if you can see, like, there's something going on with the head, so it's, like, I, it's like, I feel like she was being sedated in some way, like maybe put on an antidepressant or I don't know, but there's some, there's something to do with wanting to be herself again, but it goes more than just like her personality, like meaning like her, what, meaning like what her life is like, it, it's deeper, it's like wanting to feel like herself again in her in her brain because like I really get the feeling like she was being medicated or something 
I don't have proof of that, but I just, that's the feeling that I got when I, when I pulled these cards. So, that's what's going on with her. Now, what's going on with him? Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of cruel, you know? Um, basically, he's been traveling. He's been traveling all over the place, but um, he's also been traveling to see somebody from his past. It's somebody that, you know, is in and out of his life, and he's in and out of that person's life. He really, really likes... I would venture to say he loves this woman, um, and he really holds this woman, like, uh, really high, like, on a pedestal, um, and he, there's also something about him not, um, deciding where to live, um, so that's, like, part of the reason why he, like, is traveling all the time or something but there's something about him not knowing where he wants to live um, so he just bounces around a lot um, and he knows very very well how much um, he hurts Miley he knows um, how emotional she is about everything um, and especially how emotional she is that he's never home He's never with her. He's always on the move. And it, like, he knows. He just knows what it does to her. Doesn't care. Does not care. Um, and, uh, you know, he's always choosing this other person over her. Um, and that's just the way it goes. Because he doesn't really love Miley. He really, um, you know, has feelings for this person from his past. Um, and the only thing that he's worried about, because this is the card of worry, the only thing he's worried about is how he's, how he's going to look in the press during this whole thing. His reputation, um, and, you know, how, how it might affect his career, like, all his, all those things. That's really all he's worrying about here. And, um, And what I got was that, you know, like, basically he waited till, kind of, <clears throat> he waited till, like, he couldn't take any more of, like, Miley's antics, I guess is the right word. Like, because what I kept getting was that, like, there was all these, um, like, lashing out from her and like I think he just he like stuck it out as long as he could but then he was like forget it I'm out it's over um and I just think that it was and what I mean by lashing out it, like like her, all of her, um, Instagram posts and all of her, um, interviews, like, talking about how she, like, is still sexually attracted to women, like, all this sort of stuff, like, it was, like, too embarrassing for him, and so he just was like, I'm, I'm done, it's over, like, I can't deal with this, like, and... So now he's going to go for what, you know, he really came for. Um, and um, I'm trying to find their... Um, yeah, I mean, basically, I just, um, you know, I just was asking the cards, like, it, if he, you know, was going to go after her money and all that sort of thing. And, like, 
like a lot of these cards that I pulled, like they basically were saying that sort of thing. It was also saying that he did kind of choose to leave her um, for another woman and then that she um, would have dumped him for neglect. Um, that's what um, some of these cards were indicating to me. Uh, but there was also uh, cards that were indicating that he would um, go after her money. Um, and um, so basically, it, I mean, it's it's all very similar to what I've said before. Um, I think it's, it's going to get nastier. It like, I really feel like he's going to go after her money. Um, she's going to get very defensive, uh, over her money, um, and is going to probably like lash out a lot more. Um, probably through her music or um, through the press or something because um, she really really felt neglected and um, and you know basically unloved like I think she really just felt like she married a statue or something like And, you know, he, like, really put up a good front. Like, he was able to turn it on, you know, and make her really feel like she was loved. He was able to turn it on and able to manipulate her into, like, taking him back and, um, and marrying him and, like, all this sort of stuff. Like, I think that he's he's probably very very good at making things feel like they're her idea because he had an ulterior motive the ulterior motive is the money and the probably green card um and like what i got in previous readings where you know, that he, I kept getting the feeling that, like, he wasn't going to marry her, um, or didn't want, I take, basically, he didn't want to marry her, but what I didn't understand, you know, because, like, it was interesting to me that he, it, it was like, he was getting this sort of narcissistic supply from her, um, enjoying the attention, enjoying, like, this sort of stuff, and, like, I didn't understand that a little bit, because I was like, you know, why would he not want to marry her if, like, he felt, like, had these feelings for her? But as these readings have gone on, it makes a lot more sense to me now, because uh, what it seems to me is that he's very good at laying, laying it on thick, love bombing her manipulating her and making her feel like this is my soulmate he's the one like so what if like he leaves me you know cheats on me like whatever it's like somehow he's always able to win her back and I th I really feel like he manipulated her into marrying him because it was I I feel like it it was sort of like he realized it was the last straw like he had to make it happen if he was going to um you know get what he wanted out of it so Um, yeah, so, I mean, like I've said, uh, I'm not a perfect reader. I, I read what, you know, I get from the cards. Um, and, you know, I just feel like now things make a lot more sense to me. Um, basically, I feel like 
she's probably questioned it for like forever like their relationship in general because I feel like she definitely was in love with him but I feel like she wasn't sure if like she wanted to be in love with like the stoic unfeeling person um who would leave her and make her feel neglected and and hurt and you know and all these things so I feel like that's probably why there was so much hesitation but like I said he's very good at like getting back under her skin and so like I feel like she was doing the right thing when the first time they broke up and then he manipulated his way back in and then she probably was on the verge of dumping him again and he manipulated her into marrying him so that's basically what I've got <laughs> I hope you liked it um, and uh, let me know if you'd like any other readings about any, any other couples or or people okay thank you